went shopping and that's fun, right? I went to Topshop, Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, and the thrift stores. So for makeup things, I got two makeup setting sprays. So I got one from First Aid Beauty and it's called the Vitamin Hydrating Mist. It hydrates, revives, and refreshes, and it's safe for sensitive skin. And then I also got one from Smashbox, which is photo finish, primer water, alcohol free, silicone free, oil free. So these are nice. Nice to have two of them. You can put one in your purse, one in your medicine cabinet. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, and I need to go somewhere important, I have a tendency to like load on all this makeup. Then I look at myself and like five minutes before I leave, I'm like, oh gosh, I have too much on. So these little like makeup setting sprays are good because then you can spray it and then take a tissue and kind of pat it. I got this brush roll from Sonia Kashuk and this little makeup pouch. It's kind of nice to have bags that don't have structure because if you only have a few things in them, you can kind of fold them and make them really flat. So I really like having bags like this. Then I got a brush roll because these are really nice to have and it's a cute pattern. Like I really like how it looks. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It is, it's two girls or it's the same girl twice. Or it's twins or sisters, we don't know. I really thought it was an abstract design. I never opened it. Okay, so I have this brush roll. How, how great, look at us. We're like sisters. Can, can you tell which one's adopted? It's her, just. I don't know, she's sensitive about it. So that's all for the makeup. Okay, we'll start off from Urban Outfitters. I got this, what I'm wearing right now, and I've wanted bralettes for a while. As you see, oh, they're so handy to go underneath things. I got two halter bralettes. I got a black one and a gray one. I figured those would be great neutral colors to have. So the black one looks like this, and it has lace in the back, and the back is covered. However, this one, it's just an open back. And this one clips kind of like a bra, whereas this one, has more of like the sports bra feel. This is actually really, really similar to how a sports bra is. It's just a really sexy sports bra that probably isn't sweat resistant. It's just the same shape with no padding. You hear what I'm saying? Then I went to Brandy Melville and I got more halter tops. I'm all about the halters. I got a white one, which you have a little bit of some cinching up here. Like you can, you can cinch the neckline like this. And then I got a very similar one in black. However, you can't cinch the neckline. It's just already tied like so. I got this cropped Hawaiian shirt at Brandy Melville. Some company had dropped them off so they were sitting in the front of the store and I asked like hey like what's the deal with these Hawaiian shirts and they're like I don't know someone dropped them off we're selling them. I figured it would be cute over a bathing suit or over just like what I have on right now and like some high-waisted shorts. This is more like that kind of piece as opposed to like a staple in my wardrobe. And then I went to the thrift store and I got some Vegan items. Oh my gosh, I did so well. Sometimes it's hard, especially like Goodwill because you really have to go through everything and you have to keep an open mind and the atmosphere of Goodwill is horrible. If I had any advice to the people of Goodwill, it would be to paint your walls some sort of happier color as opposed to that horrible vomit colored pink. Have your employees wear a happier uniform. They look like the vests at Walmart. The labels are just plain font. I know that I'm thinking big here. I have to remind myself it's Goodwill. I do think that like buying used clothes is a really smart idea. Like I think there's a lot of clothes here on the earth and recycling them is good. Like it's good for the environment. It's good that you can like recycle pieces, be kind of clever with it. Not as many people are gonna have it. And so I feel like if they kind of up their game, you know, if I was in charge, this is what Lexi Lombard would do. Anyway, anyway, from Goodwill, I got a brand new pair of white Nikes. These aren't Nikes. <laughs> and they were on sale for $20, which I mean, I know you go to Goodwill and you expect things to be like four. And I wore these shoes with the other two pieces that I got at the thrift store the same day. And I wore them all together to the Mob Sign concert. I got this black silky tank top and I really like the shape of this. I like things that are cut more femininely and it's it's kind of loose, but, but still flattering. And then I wore it with some high-waisted Levi shorts that I made. They were originally not even pants, guys. They were like, they were being sold as these Levi denim capri pants. Oh, they looked horrible, but they looked good on the butt, so I was like, oh, I can make these shorts. Then I went to Topshop because I'm going to a wedding in like an hour. I got kind of a lot, so let's do it. The first thing I got from Topshop is this top that I wore to Easter. And if you haven't seen my Easter video where I opened up this really cute package for my mom, I'll link it in the description box. Um, and I really like tops like this. Topshop does a lot of them. They're kind of like tank tops with a higher neckline, so it gives kind of the flattering look of a halter top. 
and I like the flowers on my boobs. I Instagrammed that a picture of me wearing this with the caption flower boobies. I wore this skirt to Easter. Skirts like this are a good piece to have in your wardrobe because they're structured, they're not too tight anywhere. You could wear them if you had to give a presentation if your teacher told you to dress up. It wouldn't be a distracting skirt, however it is flattering. I got this shirt from Topshop and this matching skirt. And Claudia has the same one in black and white. And she wears it all the time, gets so much use out of it. And I think it's because it's a professional looking button down but it has two different lengths. The front and the back are different, the front's shorter. So you can tuck it in in the front and it kind of gives it that casual, but I'm still being professional vibe. And I'm not really a skirt person, but I did get this skirt in the same matching green color and I will wear them together. I forgot about this dress. This dress is great. This is a great dress. Wow. Now it looks really big when I hold it up and I thought I was gonna have the wrong size but it ended up fitting really well, so either I've gotten huge or that's just how the dress looks. This is the dress that I'm either gonna be wearing to the wedding or to the rehearsal dinner, and it has these daisies all over it. And in the front, it's more mustardy, and then on the outsides of the dress, it's the main color is kind of like a light cream and a gray, and then the little petals on the little part of the daisy is um, a dark brown, I think. And it's a really, really flattering dress. It looks great, I'm really excited to wear it. This dress, I don't know what kind of flowers are on it, I don't know, um, but the colors they use are navy and black, and then it's on a white dress, and this material is great, and the cut of this dress is so flattering. Um, it has a cutout in the middle. I wish I knew what type of fabric this is. It's silky, but it's also cushiony. It's something that I would wear to a tea party, a wedding, lunch with grandma. And that's all I'm going to show you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like hauls, give it a thumbs up. That way I know that I should make more hauls. Or if you're not a fan, then you know, like, totally. I will not I will not shop anymore. I will not show you what I got. That's fine. Comment down below a riddle or a joke. Those are my favorite type of comments to read. I don't know. I like, like, funny things. I like comments that make me laugh. Or, like, those heartfelt sweet ones that you guys send. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I try to post about two times a week. So you have pretty much some regular uploads from me if you want to see more. Check out some of my old videos if you haven't seen them yet or if you're new to my channel. And if you are new to my channel and you like what you see, then welcome! Welcome to my family! I feel like I'm a mother of, like, all these, all these kids. But you know what? I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Bye!